Hello, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. This is a taller body worker with a special focus on the hip mobility. So let's go ahead and start the class. We're going to start lying on our back. Roll to your side and then turn to your back. Okay, stretch your left leg down on the floor and bring the right knee to your chest. Compress the right hip joint. So we're gonna stretch the left side, the left front of the hip joint and compressing the right hip joint. In breath, press your thigh to your chest. Exhale, release. Again, inhale, compress your thigh to your chest. Exhale, release. One last. Inhale, compressing the thigh. So you're compressing the right hip joint as much as you can. Use your arm muscle. Exhale, let it go. And we switch the legs. Bring the left one in, stretch the right leg out and lift the left leg up. Compress your thigh to your chest. Inhale. Exhale. And let it go. Again, inhale, pressing thigh. And exhale, let it go. One more time, inhaling, pressing. Exhale, and let it go. Let's take the right leg in with you as well. And then place your hand just around your knee area there. Let's do some hip circles. So we bring the thigh to your chest, open the thighs away, and pulling back into the middle. Compress your chest out to the side and around. So just breathe here, suiting to yourself. Just continue breathing, inhale and exhale. What we're doing here, just give your hip joint a little TLC, mobilizing the joint, feeling if there's any tightness around the hip joint, just observe it. And let's go to the other direction. Bring the thigh away, out and up to your chest and together. And around, again, open and close. Two more. Last one. And release the leg, lower one and two down. Now bring your feet towards the edge of your mat here, open your arms out to the side. Moving to our hip rolls, let's drop the legs to your right and then bring the leg back to the center and drop the legs to the left and center. So you're stretching, you're bringing the legs into an internal and external rotation in the hip joint and center and in breath and center. Again, dropping to the right, exhale, inhale, dropping to the left, exhale. And if there's any part of the hip joint that feels a little tighter, again, observe it. And maybe you want to take that stretch a little longer and pass it for one rep before you join us again in the following rep. Again, to the left, one more each side to the right. Last one to the left. And center. Walk your feet back to a parallel position. Take your arms down by the side. Moving on to our pelvic curl here. So we in breath. Exhale. And scoop the belly in. We take the pelvis posteriorly. Imprint the lower back. Make sure you really have a nice dent in the abdominal here. And then press the feet. Roll the spine up to the bridging area. To bridging area. To bridging shape. Position. Oh dear Lord. Okay. Open the shoulders out. Can we lift the pelvis a little higher here? In breath. Exhale, roll the spine down, articulating one vertebrae at a time. And release the pelvis back to the neutral position. And exhale, we roll up through the spine, taking our pelvis in what we call a hip extension position here. So we're stretching the hip flexion, the hip flexors, opening the front of the hip. Exhale, rolling down through the spine and release the pelvis in breath. Exhale, 
we roll up through the spine, opening the collarbone, keeping the neck nice and long, gaze up to the ceiling, reaching the arm through the feet. Exhale, roll down the spine. Let's do one more time here in breath. Exhale, roll up, 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 and stay in this position. Now, what I like you to do is an alternate hip drop. I like you to release your right glute, and so your right hip will drop towards the floor, and then press back up again. Release the left glute, your left bottom will kind of reach down towards the floor and then press up and try to keep the knees staying in parallel position and press up. We lower the left bottom down, folding at the left hip and then press up. Lower the right hip, folding through the right hip and press. Lower the left bottom and then we press. Folding through the right bottom, the right hip and then press up and the left and then press up and the right press up last one here we press up and let's roll down the spine release the pelvis back to neutral okay let's stabilize the pelvis here take one leg up to tabletop breathe that second leg up joining the tabletop leg changes lower one foot down and exhale switch switch Movement is from the hip joint here. Keep the angle of the knee constant the whole time. Use your left, your left, use your abdominal, your lower abs to stabilize the pelvis. So recruit a deep, deep connection through the pelvic floor and the lower abdominal. Two more sets. Last set. Bring both legs up to tabletop and lower one foot down. Let's lower the left foot down here. Keep the right leg up to tabletop here. Now moving on to single leg bicycle, extending the right knee, dorsiflex the foot, reach the leg down, point and glide it back to tabletop. Extend the knee, dorsiflex, reach down, opening the front of the right hip, bend the knee, and up to tabletop, we extend, we reach, inhale, drag it back, and extend, reach, down, and bring it in, two more times, lift, out, reach, in breath, out, reach, and back up to tabletop, reverse, moving from the hip joint, slide the leg away, dorsiflex, bring it up, point, Bend, lower the leg, slide down, dorsiflex, lift, point, and lower, we slide, up, bend, and lower, and up, bend, two more, lower, we slide, dorsiflex, up, last one, lower, slide, up, bend the knee, Take the foot back down. Breathe out and lift the other leg up to tabletop. The left leg, extend the knee, dorsiflex. Reach down, opening the front of the hip, point, glide it back to tabletop. Extend, reach, slide away and come back in. And extend, flex, reach, point, come back, tabletop and reach, flex, reach. Point and tabletop, two more times. Last one. And come back to tabletop and stay. Reverse, lower down, we stretch, flex, up and point. Lower, stretch, flex, up and point and lower, stretch, flex, up and lower, stretch, go see flex, and lift, and fold, and lower, slide, and fall, two more times, slide, up, and fall, last one, up, 
and fold, lower the leg down. Now let's stretch the left leg down on the floor. Bring the right leg up a tabletop again and extend the knee up, dorsiflex, moving to our leg circle. So we have the right leg up, bring the leg across to the left and then down and catch recover. And exhale, inhale, one round, exhale, stay parallel and then inhale. And then exhale, last set, inhale. And exhale, and stay whole, reverse to the side down and across. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last set. Exhale, stay, point, bend the knee, take the foot down, bring the left foot in. Extend the right leg out, take the left leg up to tabletop. Stretch the leg up to the ceiling, dorsiflex, bring it across the body and down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last set, exhale, and stay the other way. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, last set, exhale, and stay. Point the foot, bring the foot down, and bring the right leg in. All right, now moving to a frog, we're going to take one leg up to tabletop, second leg up to tabletop, bring the heels together, externally rotate, your thigh out, dorsiflex the feet. Pull in the center, stabilize the pelvis. We exhale, stretch out. Inhale, exhale. To come in, pull in from the pelvic floor, engage your inner thighs. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, in breath. So this is normally done with the legs in strap on a reformer or the Cadillac. Last one, exhale, inhale, stay. Bring your hands on the inside of your feet, opening the thigh, so wide frog position. Try to settle your pelvis down onto the floor here. Now we're going to extend the knee, stretch the heel away from each other as much as you can. And we flex the knee again. Try to ground the pelvis here. And extend, maybe you wanna hold onto your calf or your inner thigh, wherever your arms can reach and depending on the flexibility today. And extend, you reach through the heels away and we bend. Again, three more, extend, reach the heel away and bend. Two more, extend, reach away, and bend. Last one, extend, reach the heel away, and come back, bring the heels together, arms down by the side, lower one foot down, and second weight down. Okay, stay in that V external rotation position. Now I want you to bring the heels together, and rise up onto the ball of your feet. So you're on a tippy toe here. Take your arms overhead. We're going to do an exercise called the semi-circle or semi-circle. Now it's normally done on the reformer here. So I'm gonna translate it to the mat. As we breathe out, do a pelvic curl in excellent rotation in the hip position. Take it all the way up to that bridge. Inhale. Exhale, we roll the spine back down, keep the heels floating and release the pelvis down. And exhale, articulating the spine up, reaching the arms away from the knees and the knees away from the arms and roll down through the spine. Release the pelvis back to neutral two more times, please. Exhale, we roll up the spine. In breath, exhale, we roll down the spine. Release, last one here, exhale, we roll up the spine. 
in breath. Exhale, we roll the spine down and release the pelvis, lower the heels, take your arms down by the side and turn your body facing me. Right, come up onto your forearm, please. Okay. Now here, stack your shoulder right above the knee. No, not the knee, the elbow. Gosh. All right, now, shoulder above the elbow, lifting the ribs up. Now, knees is about 45, you know, 45 to 90 degree, depending how tall you are, really. Okay, now, hands behind your head. Lift the underneath waistline here. Now, I want you to float the top leg, all right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to swing the leg. So, we're going to swing it forward from the hip and then swing it back. And I swing it forward. And I swing it back. And I swing it forward. And I swing it back. And swing it forward. And I swing it back. And we go. And then inhale. And then inhale. You can also place your hand in front of you here if you need more stability. And then center. And then forward. And back. Swing it two more times. And back. And the last one. And back, now moving onto a bicycle, we take it forward, extend, dorsiflex, bring it back, and in, and then stand, and swing it back, bend the knee, bring it forward, and swing it back, fold the knee, forward, and extend, two more. Last one, and reverse, we bring it back behind you, straighten, flex, and then bend, swing it behind you, flex, forward, and in breath and an in breath, two more, inhale, last one, bend the knee, grab the ankle, pull the knee past your hip joint, curl the pelvis under and then keep pulling the thigh behind you for a quick quadriceps stretch, stay there, three, pull the heel closer to your bottom, two, one, and release that. Come up to a mermaid position here. Try, if you can, sit both sitting bone down to the floor. Open the arms out to the side. Lean your body diagonally here, lengthening through the spine. And now from here, pivot through the underneath shoulder and we bring the arm across the floor. Reach long and open back. Two more time and bring the arm across the floor and in open one more arm across the floor we stay just lower the hands down place both hands onto the floor see if you can square your shoulder in the same angle as your hands now from here lengthening through the spine we're going to lift the back leg up down and let's do eight of here on three and four five six seven last eight and stay open or lift the right arm forward again open to the side and come up all right, now stay in that mermaid position. I like you to lift the pelvis up and come up onto your knee and down. Open your arms out to the side and three more times. Swing it forward, lift up through the spine and then come out. And two more, lift up forward and down. Last one, lift up forward and down. And let it go. Well done. Let's go to the other side. So onto your forearm, bending the knees. All right, between 45 to 90 degree angle. Whatever's comfortable for your knee there. All right, now from here, elbows down. All right, lifting up the underneath side, hands behind the head or in front of you here. Okay, we float the top leg up. All right, let's go. Swing the leg forward. And then inhale back. Exhale. Inhale back, exhale, inhale back, exhale, and, and, and three, and two, 
and one and bicycle. We go forward, extend, lengthening back and forward, extend and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one, and stay, reverse. We go back, stretch out, flex, forward, bend. Two more times, last one. Bend the knee, grab the ankle, lengthen to the spine, curl the pelvis under a little bit slightly as you pull the thigh behind you. For well, quadriceps stretch, which is the muscle in front of your thigh, and then bring the heel closer towards your bottom. And stay there, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, the closer you can pull the heel to your bottom, the greater the stretch will be. One more breath. And release that, come up to your mermaid position. Perch on your sitting bone as much as you can. Rock it a little bit if you feel a little stuck in the hip joint. Okay, all right, take your arms out to the side and lean your body over, lengthening through the spine and reach across the floor and open. Facing the front, recruit both obliques, lift up, upright. And I'm leaning diagonally and, and I pivot through my bottom shoulder. I bring my arm across the floor and I open my chest, recruit both obliques, pull up, center. Again, lean diagonally. And arms across the floor. Now keep the back muscle active here, stay. Lower the arm down. Just adjust the hands as, just the hands on the floor so you are in a square position, meaning the shoulder and your palms are facing the same direction. Now lengthening through the spine and lift the back leg up for eight. And two, three, Four, five, six, seven, last one, and eight. Lift the arm up and open, face the front, come up. Okay, we're gonna lift the pelvis up, sweet. Bring the arms forward, just adjust my leg a little bit, lifting up through the center. And sit down, open the arms out to the side. Again, three more. Lift and out. And recruit your pelvic floor so you can actually feel a little lighter when you lift the pelvis off the floor. And down. One more. Lift. And then come back out. And let it go. Well done. Let's go to your, your quadruped position here. Neutral spine, neutral pelvis, abdominal is nice and lift it through towards the spine here. Neck is long. Now, moving on to our glute series here, take the right ankle off the floor. So keep the right knee bent, stabilize through your center, lift the thigh up. So we're doing hip extension with a bent knee position. Let's do 10. We're on three now. And four and five, and six, keep pushing the floor away, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now stay here, let's open the thigh out to the side, and then I'm just gonna turn myself around so you can see what's happening, and open to the side, and down, and two, and down, three, Four, five, five more, four, three, two, 
two and one and release. Now, I'd like you to lower your left elbow down to the floor. Okay, now you have the right knee slightly bent here. Now what you're gonna do is lift the thigh up again. We're going to do some leg circle with a bent knee position. So we're gonna bring that leg out to the side and then down. Lift the center side. So focusing on movement coming from the hip joint, not the knee joint. So circling, circulating or circling around the hip joint and again five four stabilize to your center three two one reverse out and back one two three four five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, 10. Well done, release the leg, come up on both hands on the floor, stretch your right leg out, the leg you just work on, place the foot down on the floor and lean the pelvis back. All right, and try to keep the spine long here and the arms long. We'll stay here. Exhale. Two more breath. Last one. And come up. Bring the knee in and let's switch over to the other side. So we've got the left leg to work now. All right. Lift the ankle up, left ankle up. And and two, broad shoulder, neck is long, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, to the side, out, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, lower the right elbow down. Okay, lift the left knee up again. We're going to open to the side for the circle and underneath you. And then up and aside on three and four and five focusing on the movement coming from the hip joint and three more two stabilize the pelvis one reverse to the side back and two and three four Five, six, seven, eight, almost there, nine, and ten. Well done. Come up onto your hands and stretch that left leg out to the side. Press the foot down and transfer your pelvis down towards the foot and keep the back long, keep the arms long. Stay, exhale, and two more breath. Exhale, last breath, and come back up. Take the knee in, and let's go down onto the floor. Go into a diamond press unpositioned. Have your right hand on top of the left, Broad shoulder, broad elbows, okay. Now, let's do modified swimming here. Glide the shoulder blades down, legs are parallel here. Keep the right hand with the forehead. As you inhale, we'll lift the back with the right hand and the left leg up at the same time. 
and down. Same arm, same leg. Inhale, we lift. Exhale. Inhale, we lift. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Stay up here. Little pulse with the leg for eight. Lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring everything down. Switch the arm. All right. Now, and we lift the back with the left arm on the forehead and the right leg. And down. Again, two in breath left. And down. Three in breath left. And down. Four left. And down. One more. Five. Stay. Little pulses with the right leg. Left. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And come on down. Well done. Forearm to the side of the body. Push the floor away. Round in the back. Sit the pelvis back to your heels. And roll up the spine. All right, we've got last exercise for this class. I like it to have your knee open as wide as your hip allows you to do so. And then take the arms forward. Now I like it to send the pelvis back behind here. So your pelvis is now in between your heel and your knee. All right, now you can also bend the elbows and lower the elbows down to the floor, if you can. If otherwise, just keep the arm long as much as you can. Now from here, I want you to think about trying to do, trying to start a pelvic curl. So pull the lower abs and curl the pelvis under, so in posterior tilt, or tucking the bum under, and then let go and arch the sacrum, the pelvis, and then curl under, and then let go, arch. And again, curl under, and then arch. At the same time, you still really want to try to sit that pelvis right down to the floor, and then arch. So as we're doing this flexion and extension, we are going lower and lower towards the floor, and round. It's very challenging. Yeah, and then round. And then extend, two more time here, and round. And then extend, last one, round. And then extend, extend, and lower the pelvis right down, maybe. And then help yourself up. Just walk yourself closer, walk your arms closer to your legs, and then bring your legs together. And then do a normal rest position. In breath, exhale, one more, exhale, and roll through the spine, sitting up nice and tall. And you're done for the day. Thank you for joining me, and I wish you a lovely day.